What the hell? Over here, sir. Over here. I've got something. It's guns, sir. I've got guns. Ah, oh, bollocks. Fractured. A family, a nation, a dream. March 1922. Now you have to take up six cards, O'Reilly. You're making that up. I just put a two on top of his. And I put another two down. That's the way it works. That's bollocks. Your turn, Farrell. There. What's keeping Milani? He should have been here ages ago. He'll be here. Do I get anything for her, Jack? No. He's cutting it fine, so he is. Are you playing or not, Farrell? Am I supposed to say last card? Now yous are getting it. Oh. I win. That's an ace. I told you you can't finish on a trick card. You have to take another from the deck. Oh, for fuck's sake. Another rule? I think you're making this up as you go along. Are you going to finish the game? Oh, I'm tired of it. Here's Milani now. You took your time. Oh, fuck it. What's wrong, Paddy? The raid is off, boys. What? They're up there waiting for us. How'd you know? I saw them, so I did. I went up there last night to hide the rifles in the ditch. You were supposed to bring them here. It was safer to leave them up there in the dark. Just as well I did. On the way here this evening, I went by to have a look at the place, and it was swarming with the new civic guards. Did they see you? Do you think I'd be here if they did? They found the guns. Ah, shite. You shouldn't have left them up there. How was I to know? They must have got a tip off. I can't believe this has happened again. Maybe they were just out on a routine patrol and came across the guns. There was too many of them. They they knew. They must have followed you last night. I wasn't followed. I swear I was followed home myself two nights back. I'm telling you I wasn't followed. Look, I'm just saying. What are you just saying? Boys, we're getting nowhere fighting among ourselves. Just remember, Farrell, I'm the officer in charge here. Sorry. What do we do now? Someone is passing on information to the other side. I don't think it's Mossy Kinsley unless he's communicating from the grave. (laughs) We can't carry on operations until we take care of it. Who can it be? There's not that many of us. It could be anyone. It's hard now to tell what side people are on. Apart from us here, who else knew about the raid? There was a fair crowd at your meeting a few weeks back. We didn't go into details. It was known that we were planned to raid a mail train, and there's not many places we could do that. Maybe they've been adding extra patrols for all the mail runs. They wouldn't have time for any other work if they did that. Did any of ye boys tell anyone? Are you accusing us? You might have let something slip, innocently, in passing like. What do you take us for? Even in the pub after a few drinks. I know O'Reilly, your tongue can get fairly loose. Watch what you're saying. Command an officer or not, I will have no man accuse me of being an informer. I'm not accusing you. It only takes a little slip, that's all I'm saying. There's no need for talk like that. It's hard to know who you can trust these days. Well, you know you can trust us. You're very quiet, Sean. I'm thinking... About what? I'm thinking that you're very quick to point the finger at everybody else. I wouldn't go there, Sean. You said yourself you can't trust anyone these days. Be careful now, Sean. You went away from the plan when he hid the guns there last night. Oh, I explained that. Maybe you left him there as a sign. Or maybe you didn't leave him there at all. It's just a story you made up. Now why would I warn you off? I couldn't let the raid happen. He's right, Sean. Damn right I'm right. The only person outside this group that knew about the raid was Ernie O'Malley. I had to get approval from him to go ahead with it. Then it might be someone in the division headquarters. Maybe. But I suspect the informer is closer to home. Unless the walls have ears. I wasn't going to say this, but as you're being open and honest here, Sean, I have a thought. What about Tomas? My brother is no informer. You would say that. He was one of your most trusted volunteers. We all know he's for the treaty. If he's not with us, he's against us. He doesn't want to take sides. He already has. What do you mean? Don't let on you don't know. Know what? That he's applied for one of the National Army jobs. He wouldn't. 
Maybe you don't know your brother as well as you think. Shut up, O'Reilly. How do you know this, Milani? We have our own informants. If I'm right, he may have been an informer all through the war. Massey Kinsella was identified as Kinsella a... was a mistake. We never felt we got the right man. This proves it. I can't believe that Tomas could be an informer. I can. I always thought there was something off about Tomas. No offence, Sean. And you know what? It was Tomas that gave us the information about Mossy. Mossy was acting suspiciously, though. According to Tomas, Mossy may have been a decoy to throw us off the scent. He was a good choice. No one really liked him. Tomas would never. He wasn't even at the meeting. But he knew about it. I asked him to come along. You told me to. He knew what we were planning and how we operate. He's a clever lad. Wouldn't take much for him to figure it out. It does all fit, Sean. You all know Tomas and what he's done for the cause over the last few years. Sure, he even shot an RIC man. He wasn't all that keen to pull the trigger. We thought we'd be killing Dwyer that night, but it was his lackey we got. And Dwyer was a friend of your family, wasn't he? Who's to say he wasn't forewarned not to go out that night? And afterwards, Tomas wasn't even lifted for questioning. I know my brother. We may have our differences, but he's no informer. Who else could it be? I don't know, but I'm telling you, if a finger is laid in Tomas, you'll have me to deal with. We can't ignore this, Sean. Maybe... There's another way of finding out. What do you mean? We go directly to the source. Source? The informer is passing on the information to someone. If we can find that someone, they might lead us to the informer. So we just walk into the civic guard station and ask if they wouldn't mind telling us who their informers are. (laughs) (laughs) That should work. Not the civic guards. If it's been the same informer all the way through, who else will know? Well? The RIC? Exactly. They've been disbanded for months, so they have. Some of the men are still around. Dwyer. I bet he could tell us a few stories. You might be onto something here. It's worth trying and there's no risk. He's just an ordinary civilian now. We'll pay him a visit, so... What if he won't talk? I'm sure he can be persuaded. Can you get us a revolver? I can. We need to do this soon. Tomorrow night? All right. Here's how it'll work. O'Reilly, Farrell, I want you boys to meet each other at the church at seven tomorrow evening. When you see me and Sean passing into the main street from the college gates... Follow us at a distance. It would look too suspicious if the four of us are walking along together. Grant, what then? Sean and I will pay the Dwyers a visit, and you two take up position close by. I'll call if I need you. You don't need to tell Ernie or Mally about this. It's just the four of us. Agreed? Agreed. Right, boys. Until tomorrow night. Aye, we'll see you then. At seven. If this doesn't work, we'll still have to investigate Tomas. It'll work. And if we discover that it is Tomas? There's only one way to deal with informers. I'll not stand in your way. Aye. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Tomorrow. Tomas. What the fuck might you have done? Fractured is a Down at Heel production. All episodes were written by Joe Bergen, Brendan Farrell, Claire Joyce and Martina Riley. Sound engineer is Brendan Farrell. Fractured is supported by Kildare County Council through a bursary from Creative Ireland. It is also supported by the County Kildare Decade of Commemorations Programme and the Department of Tourism, Culture, Arts, Gaeltacht, Sport and Media under the Decade of Centenaries 2012-2023 to initiative.